Adam opened it up with my. Uh, you brought a tri-wing? No, I brought a different one, and I didn't have the handle, so he like jankily did it with tweezers in the, in the one I gave him. That's sick. anyways. Uh, so so Yale was a little. Bit, Yale's going Marth. Yale was feeling a little bit uh, off in the first set. Understand? Well, uh, absolutely, but so, like Jesse, he's going Marth after that intense like ass clencher. He is indeed going Marth. I mean. Also, this is Jared. He played against you a lot. He knows Marth the best. He does. This is weird. He did. To be fair, Portland did beat him earlier in the day, and. Yale did beat Portland, so transit property, you know. But I think that's how she goes. I personally, I think Jared probably uh, is playing better now than he was the day. I think it's pretty common. A lot of people tend to warm up. Some people tend to get burnt out, but you know, like especially if you're playing characters like Fox, I just kind of think that like the, long, the longer you're in the group of it, the, the better your your tech and everything gets. As you saw him like against me, he was he was, he was doing some stuff. So he was all oh my down no, though. Always those, those things. Those that'll always be a thing. I really like that dash attack. Oh my god. So great. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie with the upset. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Did he go uh, back air to push him off the platform to shine? Air. He hit him with a reverse back air and then slid off. That was sick. So let's see. Uh, Alright. Yeah, that, that works. High key, if you if you have time and hit with the first two side B's, I recommend always go for down because you can't shield grab it, which is really, really good. I think you can. Yeah, depending down on the side thing, but. Well, I guess if you're right in them, yeah. But like, if you have good spacing, which I do, Yale yeah. does. Yeah, it, it and, definitely is an option. And uh, yeah, Marth, it kind of like it's like a bit of a mini bait. It's like Marth, like he goes really far forward and then he pulls back, and like a lot of people think that they can still grab it. Like, it's kind of gimmicky, yeah. but it's also like if he's crush canceled, it's just easier. So, which is I, I do think it's the best option in the third time making airborne. Obviously, though, most of the time. Sometimes if they're airborne, it yeah. Get a knockdown. It's anyway. not no bueno though. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to use side being neutral. I just, yeah, it's it's pretty rare you want to use it. You, you sometimes want to use it when they're at higher percent and they can't cross cancel it. Dude, Jesse, is there anything he can do when, um, I know it's a lot of the time, Yale almost has to set up for a juicy punch, but, but Jared has the perfect uh, slide up DI. Yeah, yeah you just can't up air. Uh, I mean, does he just have to up tilt there, or maybe like yeah, you, you, gotta, there? you gotta up tilt him like back across the platform, which he can mm. still slide off, but like, it's a little um, harder. Right? Yeah, and the best slide off DI for up tilt doesn't work if they put it on there. So it's like kind of a mix-up. And the only thing you can do is you can wave on on the platform. Uh, if you have rules. You, know, you always have enough time, but you don't have enough time if they take in place. Yeah, because the upper, there's too much lag on it, it looks like. He can't really, he's not really converting when he could have better punishes. Yeah. He grabbed F smash. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Uh, he's just, yeah, kind of keeping him, like, whenever Jared uh, gets out of the combo, Gio just kind of covers his option. Going. He's covering like the, he's covering the defensive options really well. I've noticed that. Like Yale's not even putting that much aggression. He's just putting his hitboxes in very strategic places. So. Yeah. He's covering like the dash bags and, and everything. He's doing uh, weird stuff based on like <laughs> his so he's kind of like I think you're gonna drop shield here. I'm gonna do double side. He, he also uses F smashes and he calls people out in the weirdest ways. <laughs> like you yeah. try to dash in near him, he just throws it out super preemptively. Yeah, that's definitely uh, uh, sort of. So, Gales, overall, I think he's gonna take the Dreamland. That's my guess. If I were Jared, that's probably where I'd go. Yeah, I think I might also see Yoshi in the Jared likes that stage. Probably. Depends on the, um. Depends also on the player. Oh, yeah, right. Like you said, Yoshi's. Because so then, oh, he, Fox did oh. Yeah. Okay. I guess, I don't know, maybe yeah, he saw me versus Jared here. I, I did get three stock. So. Mm. Yeah, this stage, I def definitely agree that Fox definitely has a lot of shit in this stage. But Fox, Fox, you know, on Yoshi's, definitely, depending on your Fox personality style, if you're a dash, dash dance grabber, you won't do as well here. But if you're a Gale guy, we like to let it rip. It's a pretty good stage yeah, for it's you. It's definitely a let it rip stage. Yeah, which is awesome, because letting it rip can net you a kill way earlier than other stages won't. Yeah, and uh, there's just like way less space. So, you know, uh, rush down is a lot more of a viable kind of play style. Than uh, you know some of the, some of the big stages. That's true. Oh, okay. All right, he's got him off stage, but he doesn't get a wave dash on shield punish. Yeah, oh, that yeah. that can be kind of hard because Fox wave dash is like hitting perfect Fox wave dash. If you're not like a Fox player, you gotta understand it's pretty hard getting the perfect wave, uh, wave dash. Even like the best players miss it up. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Ooh, second oh, up there. Just barely, I think. Yeah. If you DI that, so Jared was talking to me earlier today, is that Fox's up air doesn't set straight up, since you're slightly forward. Oh, really? So if you, DI to the, if you DI to the front, you'll be further from up, like, you'll be further away from straight up than if you DI behind, you know what I mean? So you'll live longer oh. all the time. 
Oh, dang. Yeah, it'll be at, like, a lower angle. So, like, because obviously you want to hold left or right, so you mean, like, hold, what is that, like, hold left slightly down? Or, well, kind of, but yeah. the, there is the, the dead zone in, in melee, which All right. that, so you can't really hold, like, slightly down is the same as down, unless you go yeah. more than slightly, which I don't even know if that's optimal. Like, if you get the very slight, the slightest angle you can do. Yeah. Uh, we saw uh, a little bit ago an SD. Yeah, kind of just fell off like uh, and this is a big momentum shift here, so... Yeah, a win on Yoshi's is definitely something that... Like, because I don't know, Fox personally gets Yale's arsenal of characters. There's no stage that's really polarizing to Yale, right? Because he can always switch characters if it's like Mark versus uh, Spacey or something. Yeah, and uh, he always has... Damn! Uh, he always has the potential to go Marth FT, uh, which, mm. yeah, if you go down 2-0, then he has two counter two counter picks in a row. Honestly, Yale is a methodical guy where I feel like he does think about stage strategy. I think personally, what I would Yale do is, is a counter pick master. Yeah, yeah. So you're right because he has the arsenal to do it. So I feel like FD Marth is like what he's saving his pocket. So when it's like game five or like when he really needs the win, he's gonna pull it out. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone yeah, glimpsed why I just peed a little. <laughs> oh God. You love to see it. We love to see it, dude. I hope you're having a great right, so day, chat. We're having a lot of fun. Mark like I said. Yeah. So let's dude, see. I guess you're right. Yeah, he just wanted to pull it out now. But you know what the funny thing is? I feel like Jared playing you so much, he's definitely pretty good in this stage. Yeah, I would say just like against, uh, against Mark in general, you know, he's he's got the most uh, matchup experience and knowledge. How did he get that re-grab? He got the weak sour spot of up tilt and then comboed into um into a re-grab. That was a little weird. Definitely a uh, super PI dependent thing. Yeah, that was filthy, man. Oh my yeah. god. Alright, so he's doing the side B again. At this percent, it's kind of like... Uh, <laughs> If, if you don't touch cancel it, I think the, the first hit starts to knock down around here. It's actually really, really weak. But uh, the second hit and whatnot is, is uh, pretty. Is quite a strong. Okay, let's right. Maybe a little more level than these higher percents. Just yeah, barely. That that wasn't a true F smash. You can uh, sort of jump out of those things a little easy with you if you buffer tap jump. Oh, really? Those jabs were sick. Those were really good, yeah. You, you gotta keep them, you know, hit, hit him with a second jab to hit him far enough away that you can't, like, air dodge or anything on stage. So. That, was, that was a nice, uh, no fastball sort of drift forward from the you, you always see that, like, it, it's usually pretty like, risky. Like, there, right? Yeah, it's usually yeah. pretty risky, but then, like, it's, a, it's kind of a, a meta thing where it's like, if they try to, they're gonna try and come in early so that you can't, like, you know, dash back out of the way of their punish, then you can sometimes just hit them with it, like, uh, while, the, while your hitbox is still out. So let's see here. Oh yeah, I understand. It's definitely, that's like Mark's version of, like, Falcon overshoot there. You kind of just do the narrative where you don't fastball it, so that hitbox stays out as long as possible. Yeah, because a lot of people are really eager to whip punish Mark. This is dash back. It's super good. So you want to catch that. That was... Was that down throw into... That was up throw. That was up throw smash? Yes. Uh, I feel like you're DI to over, over the edge. Definitely, like once once that happens, you're pretty dead. I feel like in this matchup too, a lot of Marth getting his grabs comes a lot of wave dash out of shield. Like if the Fox goes for like an up smash, because that's such big shield knockback, you have to wave dash out of shield to grab him, right? Oh yeah, definitely yeah. Because uh, there's so many frames you lose if you drop your shield dash. Same with his dash attack. Uh, dash attack is just, like kind of tricky to punish depending on the timing, but a lot of times you can do it with a shield grab or up tilt even. Definitely a really, really uh, essential skill for Mark. Uh, in general, I would say, but especially in uh, the space concepts. That was good ass damage. You got a solid 30% combo. Yeah, well, like, it's 40% now. You got him with one shine. Uh, okay, well, let's see. The neutral DI is, uh, is that's, that's the best there. You don't want to DI towards the edge. Yeah, you want to give him a to get off stage. Yeah, that was good DI. Did he just do, like, no DI? Or, like, because he just went straight up. Yeah, just neutral DI. Yeah. Okay. Right, I think Jared has a. He, he has some combination of. Uh, what do you call it, like, uh, X and Y modifiers on his box that get, like, really good slight DI. I, I played against him and he's, like, oh. he's able to get it, so so that, that could be what he did there, too. Oh my oh, god! I, I that would have ended it, I'm pretty sure. That edge yeah. card sequence? <gasps> okay, he's got a grab. Oh. Jared's, in, yeah, Jared's really good at those uh, shines out of the up throws. That was, like, if, if he pummeled once or twice, that would have I see, I see, he would have been dead. That was, like, a percent off the kill. Okay, this is, like, Jared's gonna lose here, kind of thing. But yeah, he has definitely... Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, here you go. 2-1 Jared!
Bro! So, Yell loses on his first counter move. Which is usually his I, I think he, you're right. I think he's gonna run it back, though, personally. I think he definitely, I mean, that was definitely close. I think uh, if you got a few more of the up throw punishes, Jiren um, is kind of escaping out of but this is not think he's going to. Oh! He's going Falcon? On Dreamline, there's a good pick, though, in this matchup. This is probably the best stage. Uh, I think I think Frozen Stadium is a lot better than regular Stadium. I think it's yeah. kind of a, I think it's kind of a matter of opinion. But generally, people say this and Battlefield are the best stages. Yeah, Honestly, I don't know. He's just stopped like four times. Yale is noticing that that Jared really likes approaching with like air. He's just trying to hit him with a. Uh, All right, he's Dan is now locked over to the commentary desk. Yeah. AKA Bobo, AKA Nitro, AKA Danny. Yeah, why is there like 80 AKs? Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright, so he, he definitely got a few uh, nickels and dimes here. Once he's finally got blocks out of Crush Cat, that's it. He has three stomps in the knee. And that's I s so now you guys can see why okay. people are going to face this, but he's going to the He doesn't go to the ledge. I'm that's really surprised. But that's he's going to finish it. Oh, what's that? That's, that's uncharacteristic. Yeah, actually, yeah, he I always goes to the ledge. <laughs> he's just barely going to make it on again. That's, like that's a such a Ganon thing. thing. That was Gale's Ganon coming out. Yeah. And then if Falcon went a knee, he's like Ganon more. Yeah. Get the Tidman. Definitely used to play a lot of Ganon, but not so much these days. But the Falcon no. too, it's pretty rare. Yeah, yeah you I never see him play Falcon. I think, I think in the more recent times, you've been seeing it a little bit more than, uh, than if you were to go back a few months. Oh my god. You, you, you like never saw it for, for like years. It's like no one's seen him in years. Yale is so good at scrambling. Yeah. <laughs> like he's so sick in the paint. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, is that gonna be okay? Oh, I think he got actually high jumped what? differently. Oh, he actually read that too. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, okay. He, Yale's Honestly, reads you know what he should like, he should not beat Haiki. Yell's reads are like super on point, but he's just like barely uh, not getting some. Alright, good, solid, yeah. However, takes the ledge, cleans up that edge card. I am impressed. Yale actually got slapped for the first stock and then he brought it back. He definitely yeah, he made the uh, adaptations. He's, he's, the thing is, I think Gale, you know, he, when he switches between so many characters, he, it takes him a little bit to get more of a new character, right? And I think now he's definitely looking more. He's got these reaction tech chases, he's got the reads. Honestly, though? Oh, oh my god, that was so oh, whack. No, he, he, he had to stomp. stomp. He yeah, to stomp. he had the grab stomp thing. <laughs> To be fair, he's doing so many stops. It's working! Pull back stomp is amazing! It's, it's like one of his it's one of Falcon's best tools for the match. Fact, there and pull back stomp. Before I played Yell Bracket, I, I was like, man, how do you beat Fox, Yell? He's just like, right, just tech chase and okay, pull back stomp. That's literally all he's doing. <laughs> back air will put him in a sure situation that will kill. Like what you get him at this percent, like in a full hop is like really hard for, for Fox to challenge because you can't crowd cancel any of his moves. So you yeah, just, so you just throw out those full hop back airs. You also just nair, you can oh, nair Fox. Just barely too slow. Yeah, you can nair Fox very carefree when he's at this percent. Okay, he gets the grab, so let's... See, I don't... Okay. Oh, yeah, he waited, he waited. Oh, he fucked it up. Yeah, that was pretty bad. No, that is technically... I actually don't know that's, that's a, true. If you that, that is a thing. No. It is true. He was, he was too slow, he misses dash. Okay. okay. Oh, got it. Oh, shit. Last High key, if Yale hits like two more stomps, he he can actually, it's very scary for Fox. Okay. Yeah. This is Yale's tournament stock, though, so he's, he's got to keep it together. See, that, that if he was just a bit faster with that, that, that stomp out of shield, that could have been big. Uh, but the, it's just those, those, these, these uh, high stake situations, you, you, you tend to hesitate, you know, when you get a, when you get a chance. Yeah. It's, it's very scary. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was scary. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh that's a shield grab. No, actually. It's the other way, though. Oh, oh the bait. my god. I love that. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. That was now, I gotta, now I gotta play. Yeah. All right. Well, everyone, let's thank Jesse for actually some pretty sick commentary. And I guess Dan and I are gonna bring this tournament home for you. No, Same with Jesse. Thanks, <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, let's go. Okay, that was impressive.